Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to have a quick lesson on sequences of rigid motions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment about the lesson below. Thank you. In the following picture, a triangle ABC can be traced onto a transparency and mapped onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, which basic rigid motion or sequence of would map one triangle onto the other. All right, well, this one, we can see that this triangle right here, which is the original ABC, uh, looks to me like it's just been flipped, so there we go, and then this would move down right here. And all the points correspond with each other, so this one is simply a reflection. Alright, this one, uh, same idea with this triangle, pretty much the same triangle right here. And all we're going to do with this thing is rotate it. And it looks like it's about that point B. And yeah, we get this other triangle right here. So this one is a rotation. And this one's a little different because of uh, the way the points are set up. Kind of, on this one. Um, again, this one could be a sequence, and that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this... This one, it, it in comparison with this A prime, B prime, C prime triangle, looks like it's upside down, so it's been flipped at least. And then from here, we're just going to rotate that. And again, it looks like it's at the point B. So something like this, maybe if I draw that a little bit better, coincide. This one is a reflection and then a rotation. It is possible you could have done a rotation and a reflection as well, but uh, that's okay either way. All right, let two figures A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime be given so the lengths, the corresponding lengths are the same and the corresponding angles are the same. With clarity and precision, describe a sequence of rigid motions that would map figure A, B, C on the figure A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, and this is what I suppose you did, was traced that shape A, B, C on uh, some kind of scratch piece of paper. All right, so all I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to take this point B and then make it so that those two coincide. Now we can't forget that uh, the A is right there and the C would be about right there. Because we, we need to remember this because when I rotate this thing, they're not going to be in the same positions. Alright, so let's rotate that. Now again, the A and C parts don't uh, line up right there and that's okay. Uh, because of the shape, so this one right now would have to be reflected. There we go. Now we got something like this. Now, of course, it would have been would line up exactly if I drawn that better, but that'll do. So yeah, this one ends up being a translation, a rotation, then a reflection. All right, here's the problem set. Let there be the translation along that vector. Then let there be a rotation around point A, negative 90 degrees clockwise, and let there be the reflection across line L. Let S be the figure as shown below. Show the location of S after performing the following sequence. Translation followed by rotation, followed by reflection. Okay. So once again, I'm just gonna trace that triangle. And I can see this vector is up to, and then to the right one. So I'm going to take these three points on the triangle, then move them up to, to the right one. So there's the one point, yep, up to the right one. There's the next one, up to the right one. And there's the next point to give us this new triangle, which we could call S prime. 
No. But then it says to reflect this over the line L. No, we got to rotate it first. So this is a 90 degree rotation, negative 90 degrees. Which means from, let's say, this corner to A, it's got to be 90 degrees in this direction. So this is the new, I guess, point right there. And it's going to work the same way with all these. This one, 90 degrees here. <clears throat> so the next one would be... There we go. So it's been moved up this way. And this would give us this triangle here, which we could call S double prime. And from here, we're going to reflect this over that line L. Again, I'm just looking at the three points on this thing. Those three. So let's see. This is a 90 degree angle, again, with the line of reflection. So I've got to go in the other direction, the same distance right there. And this would be that same point. Uh, same with this one right here. How far was that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then this one. One, two, three, four, and a half. Okay. Half. One, two, three. There we go. And we can see this point would be right here. So this gives us the final triangle. Uh, looks like it was transformed three times, so we can call that S triple prime. And this right here is the triangle that we end up with. All right, it's asking on this one, if we did that uh, translation backwards, would it give us the same object in the same place? Uh, that would definitely be a no, because if we reflected this first over the <coughs> line L, we'd get this shape here. And from there, we'd rotate it around point A at uh, 90 degrees. Now, it looks like you don't have enough space. It'd be uh, the triangle would be up here somewhere. Looks like it'd be maybe facing this way. And then if we translate along that vector, it would just be up a little bit higher. So they're definitely not in the same position, uh, which means, just like we talked about in one of the lessons, that it does matter which order we do these in. All right, we're going to reflect this triangle ABC across the vertical line, parallel to the y-axis going through the point 1, 0. 1, 0 is this point, and it's parallel to the y-axis, so it's going to be this line right here. So B is 2 away to the right, so we're going to go 2 away to the left, and this would be B prime. And then A is 3 to the right, so A, will be, a prime will be 3 to the left. And then C up there is two way to the right, so C prime will be two way to the left. And we get this new triangle right here. There's C prime. Now, after reflecting it across this line that goes through 1, 0, it wants us to reflect it over the line for, uh, parallel to the x-axis, horizontal line, and it goes through 0, negative 1. So it's going to be this purple line. So once again, uh, B prime is 2 up, so B double prime will be 2 down. And then A double prime is right next to it. And then C is 5 up, so we've got to go 5 down to get C double prime. And this is our new triangle right there. Is there a single rigid motion that would map triangle ABC to triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime? Yes. 
How do we know? Uh, because CB is parallel to C double prime, B double prime. And BA is parallel to B double prime, A double prime. And also A double prime, C double prime is parallel to AC. So we know there's a 180 degree rotation on this one.